Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Sitting here waiting for my time to go into the Loaves and Fishes Ministry Food Bank here in Carrollton, Ohio. A lot of people here today because it's a nice day. And a lot of people getting out today. <sighs> There are a lot of stupid, moronic people that are on the internet, and I'm not one of them. Just because I preach what you don't like, what I preach, doesn't make me moronic. It makes you moronic when you make stupid comments on my YouTube and uh, my uh, Facebook site. Like someone had just made a comment that uh, I shouldn't be drunk. I don't drink. Thank you very much. Water is what I drink. Milk is what I drink. Iced tea is what I drink. I don't drink alcohol. And because I don't talk very plain like I used to. Of course... A lot of people said I don't didn't talk plain anyhow because of the crooked teeth I had and the nerve damage I had, had well still have actually because I have a severed nerve in my um, gum no nerves don't run in your bones they lo run in your uh, gum area when I had two a uh, impacted tooth pulled it severed a nerve which gives me this fat lip filling all the time right here and now because I don't have teeth like I did I talk differently than what I did before my teeth are still being made they won't be done till towards the first of the month Well, long story short, I am not drunk, I don't drink, so don't be making stupid comments on my YouTube video that's not true. You don't know me, but yet you're making stupid comments like that. Goes to show what uh, you really are. You, you, you just like run your mouth and you don't know nothing when it comes right down to it. And as far as that woman is concerned uh, that lives in Thailand, supposed to be coming to maybe visit me, I don't know if she will or not. But she uh, made a comment on my YouTube video about me going hunting Bigfoot. No, I didn't go hunt Bigfoot. I went to go see some guys that do hunt for Bigfoot. So get it straight. I didn't hunt Bigfoot. I went to go see the guys that hunt Bigfoot. It's a show that's on on Destination America called uh, Mountain Monsters. They're from the West Virginia, Southern Ohio, and West Virginia area. And they hunt Bigfoot all around the uh, United States. And, uh, well, they're kind of crazy guys, but down to earth too at times. I mean, you know, long story short. Just because I'm disabled, where is it written I am not allowed to have a degree or to earn a degree through the United States mail when uh, there was a mail uh, like it was years ago before the uh, internet I received my books in the mail I received my tests 
um, papers in the mail and I send them back in the mail. And just because I earn a lot of my degrees through the mail, a lot of people think they're, they're not real. They're, they're fake. But even an honorary degree that is bestowed upon somebody is real. Uh, these vehicles parked... Uh, back there by the dry in the driveway where it's hard to get in and out back there and that's what gets me these people around here they just want to park anywhere that they feel like it and think it's okay you know just but it makes it hard to get in and out because they're so close. <coughs> well, I was able to get my sticker for my uh, license plates today. Thanks to uh, my son. Got my sticker today for my license plates. Thanks to my son, he, uh, my oldest son, he came up yesterday and uh, gave me a cake and some milk and uh, some money for my birthday, which I used the money for my sticker. I still have a little bit left over to get my medication that I uh, need. But I need back brakes. They're called brake shoes. And they run around $25.99. My son is off today from work. And today basically is the only day he can do it. But I don't have the money to get the brake shoes. I'm hoping maybe that the somebody here at this ministry could help me, but I doubt it. Because what gets me is that a lot of Christians say, just pray about it, just pray about it, just pray about it, just pray about it, just pray about it. You know, I gave it over to the Lord, but then it's up to somebody else to make the move. To get off their lazy katoosh and stop saying just pray about it. That's the problem. The big problem with a lot of Christians today. They just say just, you know, have faith and pray about it. Or I'll pray for you. I'll pray for your need. But God's word says in James 2... Show me your works. Show me your faith without works. Faith without works is dead. Faith. You gotta do something. You can't just say, go and, you know, I'll pray about, pray for you. Go or I'll pray about your need. And hopefully someone else will take care of it. Or hopefully God will send a, a big check in the mail out of the blue. It happened to me once in my life when I needed uh, help. I got $20 in the mail. But that was after I found a lost dog. I needed $19 to pay a bill. And I got a $20 bill in the mail. Not bill, but you know, $20. A card with a $20 bill in it. that I used for that $19 bill.
Checking the time here. About 15 more minutes. Now I'll go in and This is one of the big problems here. Uh, not well in the United States. Period. A lot of people come here from other countries, taking our jobs, taking uh, taking our um, social services, and they can't even speak English. Because, like I said, there's a lot of people that think I can't talk English and I talk like I'm drunk. Well, I was drunk, yeah, that night. I was drunk in the Holy Spirit. I was drunk in the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit came on to me and wanted me to preach the truth about Revelation 13, about the war that's coming against the Christians. And I'm tired of people running their fingertips and saying things on my YouTube video that's not true about me It just It makes me mad You know be angry and say no, I'm angry and I'm not sinning. I'm telling you If you don't stop it Of course, I know I can't stop you but I can't go on there and ban you from making comments. And some people they just whip in here and so fast like there's no tomorrow. Well, I don't know, I'm just so frustrated with how things have been going. I know I should have more money left over every month than what uh, I do have. Even with the loan fee, the, the loan fees, I should still have more money left over. But I don't. I, I just don't understand where it's all going. Even though I keep all my receipts, I I can show you where my money is going. But it is, it's not all there that should be there. That's the thing. It, you would think
you know that you would have the money but then when you turn around you don't have the money so where is the money going honestly I think the banks are embezzling the money making it look like you uh, everything's on the up and up but where do you think they get their pay to pay the bankers well they don't charge fees like they used to so where do they get their money they gotta skim it somewhere well listen I gotta get over here and it's about 10 more minutes before I go in there I just want to do this quick video here and tell people they need to start getting things straight before they uh, start typing things on my YouTube video that they have no thing they know nothing about. They don't know me, but yet they think they have the right to talk about me and say I'm drunk. I'm not drunk with alcohol. I'm drunk with the Holy Spirit. And if you don't like it, I don't care. God bless you. Have a blessed day.